this thing on? I haven't recorded in a while. I took my quarantine stuff offline because for a while because I was like, God, this stuff is rapidly aging <laughs> really, really quickly. But I'm gonna put them back up and the rest of the um, clips that I have, I'll put them up as well. We're really excited to go to Nurka because I was meant to go home in April and my flight was canceled. And I don't know when I can go home because I wouldn't go home just for no reason. I mean, I can work from anywhere. So um, still here, missing the coastal air very very much i'm wearing an h&m top that i'm not joking i bought this like four or five years ago and it's the first time I'm wearing it so that's funny mm. so we're going to nurka in the morning we're all hanging out here that's what knows it's for youtube it's for youtube hey is there on my youtube I see that's beautiful. <laughs> 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 we have an Irish woman, an Irish woman, a Portuguese guy, we have a Spanish guy, and we have an Argentinian guy. Eating all the tapas, drinking the wine, and just having a good crack. Just one. Just one. one. But we're trying. So instead of getting a taxi, which I wasn't that comfortable with, we're, we're down at the Reco uh metro station and we're just about to get the metro to the bus station to go to Nerka. There's only two buses running at the moment, they're usually all day, but there's only two, one in the morning and one in the evening, so obviously we went for the morning one. We'll probably have some lunch when we get there and then check in. I'm so excited. I haven't been since last year. Anyway, mask on and ready. <laughs> staying in the Balcon de Europa, which is great. We all film more of the hotel when I'm inside. We can't check in yet, we're a little bit early, so we're just gonna go now and get some lunch. Do you know the way some cats have the face of a human? That cat kind of has the face of a human. That was hands down. Like, I love Muglia in Granada. It's a really, really good Indian restaurant. I've featured it loads of times. I love Indie Spice at home. But that Jaipur was the best Indian I have ever had in my life. And Ricky looked after us and he was really nice. And they've just taken it over from the previous owners. So if you're in America, I would suggest you go. Also, they have really good, they've picked really good wines. Yeah, really nice spot. I'm gonna give them, they don't have any social media or anything yet. I'm gonna put something up on TripAdvisor for them. We're only here a couple of hours and we've already had an outstanding meal. And again, I keep saying just to have the sea air is just amazing. That's what really makes me miss home, but obviously I won't be going anywhere near there for a while because I'm not selfish. I'm not gonna necessarily travel. I can work from home, I can work remotely anywhere, which has been great. And I hope after all this COVID stuff that first people can do the same and they don't have to commute anymore because it's, it's a waste of life. <laughs> ready and disinfected which is what I love to hear. I'm just going to show you the view now from we have a sea facing room. This is the pool. Okay so we're on the fourth floor. This is our room 404. Bathroom. One toiletries. Me. Proper shower. A very large bed. Wi-Fi code is my room and my surname. Usual kind of buzz. We have this balcony. These views. And they kindly gave us a bottle of cava. 
and obviously the QR bits. Really, really happy with this. Yeah, just the views make it really, don't they? Can you open? Changed out of my travel-y clothes into the Sarah dress that I bought last year, which, or the year before, um, not quite short for tall girls, but sure, look, and earrings I got in Sephira recently. We're just gonna go down now to probably just a bar that's overlooking the sea. Maybe the one in the hotel, because we looked at the prices. Not that matters, but we looked at the prices and they're like Granada. You know, we sometimes in hotels, if you check, they're like really overpriced, so. <sighs> Looks good. And we also like Corcoran's Irish one for drinks as well. I'm pretty sure. That's our room there. Hello. I don't leave snacks for you. Going to the Parador. It's not the nicest Parador. I'd mentioned this before in a vlog. Because Parador is in Spain and Portugal are old monumental buildings that are turned into hotels, so they're very impressive. I had to show this because, you know, not the best Parador, but still a bit of crack. It's where we had lunch. Next plan on this very hot Nurka day. The weather's quite funny because so I was like, wow, it's only 27 degrees, like what luck? Because in Granada, it's like in the 30s all the time. But it's really, really sticky and humid and muggy. So it's actually quite dry in Granada. So I'm really feeling it. I usually have a shower in my own sweat in Granada anyway, but it's quite bad here as well, so. But yeah, so, so excited to be here. I think the last vlog I was sitting last year in this seat and I took photos the year before because I wasn't vlogging at the time, but I absolutely love Nurka. And as I said, not my favorite parador. It doesn't really look like a parador, but um, yeah, I just love the views. Hi, friend. Oh, he's not coming out very well with the shadows. Maybe he wants a bit of crack. You want some crackers? <laughs> oh, he's loving that cracker. Yeah. He's so happy. I would be too if someone gave me a cracker. He's gone. We're up at Buddha Bar, a cocktail bar here in the center of America. We were here last year and I don't remember my vlog, but I got one of those smoky cocktails and it uh, triggered an asthma attack. So that was funny, kind of. That lift goes down to Barradunno, if you know the area. And uh, yeah, it's absolutely roasting. We're one of the first people here. It's only about seven o'clock. We're gonna sit around here in the shade. super heavy and muggy today. We're just at the pool area. Probably go to the beach later, but for now, good for with this until it clears up a bit. Oh. Even though it's pretty overcast today and very muggy, we were not expecting to see that many people at the beach. I don't know how many years. I ordered the Greek sea bass. <laughs> it's absolutely massive. I and mean, Yaki got the Thai one and it's crazy. It looks good though, huh? Creepy and good. Creepy and good. Creepy and good.
So this is Saturday. Been at the beach all day and I went to the pool this morning. It was very overcast and it's still very muggy, but it's a lot nicer now. But I was absolutely knackered getting up. Like the bed is so big that you can literally both of us can start and have a lot of space, which is amazing. But I've only been sleeping six, seven hours this week. I actually had a busier week than I thought, so I didn't get a lot of sleep. And I slept 11 hours last night. I was in bed at 11. <laughs> and this morning I was still wrecked. I really needed it. But you know, sometimes when you oversleep, you're a bit groggy. Yeah, we spent most of the day on the beach, had lunch there. And yeah, he's just in the shower now. I'm sitting at the mirror door again. At the balcon there, hotel slash actual balcon there. <laughs> and then we're going to get some dinner, I think, later. The sea bass I had today, that was massive, so I won't have much, I'd say. But we love an Italian restaurant down here that we went to last year. Also, my phone is on high light, like it's in like the, the light is totally up the full way, but I still can't see the screen that well. Just that sort of weather. But anyway, no other news. It's gonna be a relatively short vlog because I've done like a post here before and a vlog here before, but just to show how things are and yeah, the beach was a bit packed up, a bit more than I would have liked. Um, I didn't do any filming, I wouldn't anyway really, but I was trying to stay away from people. But yeah, it's been a great trip as always. It was very relaxing here, so it was very quiet. I just came over here to film and then I was like, God, bang a joint over here. hotel, a little cute boutique hotel, but it's called Restaurant 34 and Tapas Bar 34. And I really like it. We were here last year for um, around my birthday. I think it looks like a cute little barber shop and everybody else is sitting outside and we're the only weirdos inside, but I really like it. It has a lot of character. 